Hello, iJailbreak Nation. This is Jaden from iJailbreak.com, and today we're going to be covering how to update your iPhone, iPod Touch, and soon iPad to the beta version of iOS 7. There are many ways to update your device to iOS 7 at the moment, and some of them are more reliable and work better than others. For those that missed Apple's announcement at the WWDC 2013, iOS 7 is the next generation of Apple's mobile operating system, and it has com been completely redesigned. The user interface is much flatter and there's a ton of new features that have been taken from the jailbreaking community, such as toggles. The first way to update to the beta version of iOS 7 is to obviously register at for an iOS developer account. This is extremely easy to do and simply requires you to go to the iOS Dev Center and become a registered developer. You are guaranteed to get approved and there's no requirement for you to know how to develop applications. What this will allow you to do though is register your device's UDID, which is basically a unique identifier that every Apple device has, and you'll be able to install iOS 7 beta without any troubles. The only downside to this method though is that it costs you $99 a year. The next way to run the beta version of iOS 7 is to pay someone to register your device's UDID. You see, when you register for an Apple developer account and pay the $99, you get 100 slots that can be registered to an iOS device. Certain people purchase these developer accounts and then offer to sell UDIDs online, usually for around $5 to $10. If they're able to sell 10 slots for $10, they will already have made their money back, so you can see why it's worth it, and they could possibly get 9 times their investment back if they manage to sell out all the slots. Searching Google for a UDID registration will bring you to a ton of websites offering to register your device's UDID. Although much cheaper than purchasing an Apple developer account, you are risking possibly being scammed as you're trusting someone's word that they're going to register your device's UDID. Furthermore, even if you do initially get your UDID registered, you run the risk of having it banned down the road if Apple catches on to the accounts people are selling UDIDs from. If you do go with this method, then once your UDID is registered, you will simply need to download the latest iOS 7 beta firmware. This can be done by a simple Google search, or I'm even sure some of the UDID registration services give you direct download links. The last way to update to iOS 7 beta is to simply download it from the internet and manually update your device using iTunes without even registering your UDID. That's right. There's a ton of people who've actually managed to update to the first beta version of iOS 7 without even having a registered UDID. All you need to do is download a beta version of iOS 7 using Google, launch iTunes, go into the device summary tab, and option click on Mac or shift click for Windows on the update button. This will allow you to manually select an IPSW to update to, so obviously you're going to select iOS 7. It's unclear why this method works at the moment, as usually you have to have a registered UDID to update to a beta version, but it's worth a shot if you don't have an official developer account or don't want to take the risk of paying someone to register your device's UDID. Keep in mind, however, that Apple could enforce this UDID requirement anytime, and this will cause you to have to downgrade back to the latest firmware version, which at this point in time is iOS 6.1.4. Remember, if you're updating to iOS 7 beta, you will lose your jailbreak. If you rely on a hacktivation on your iPhone, do not update to iOS 7 either as you won't be able to hacktivate. If you know of any other way to update to iOS 7, let us know in the comment section below. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more great content and share the video with your friends if you'd be so kind. This has been Jaden from iJailbreak.com and for more iOS 7 content and city tweaks, be sure to check out iJailbreak.com.